Hello all. In this video, I'll talk about service on basic concepts. Before moving ahead, I'll show you how can you request for a Postman developer instance. Go to developer.servicenow.com site. If you have no registers on this site, then click on register menu. It will navigate you to registration page. Enter all the necessary information here. Then click on submit button. If your account is already created on developer.servicenow.com site, then click on login menu. And sign in here with your account credentials and click on sign in button to request for instance click on request instance button or you can go to manage menu and click on instance here you can select the version of service now and select the Kingston. If you want to reset admin password, then choose option as reset admin password here. Then go back to your instance, type my profile in left navigator. This is left navigator and click on my profile module. I'll talk about module application left navigator about the service now user interface later on then click on change password related link copy this password paste it here and here you will type a new password for this instance to get access and click on change password button another way is, is to change admin password is to write users in left navigator click on users module under system security application or you can select user module under user administration application Type admin here under user ID column. Click on this bracket. Here you can set the password for administrator and click on update button after writing or setting password here. Now I'll discuss about service now user interface. This is service on user interface. This is banner section. It's a left navigator section. And it's a content frame section. In the banner section you will see service now logo as well as user menu. If you will click on this then you can see the current login user profile by clicking on this menu option you can impose it to another user here you can select the user by using this menu option you can grant security admin access to administrator here you can search for text in the entire application here you can open connect chat by clicking on this help icon you can see all the documentation by clicking on this gear icon you can set system settings these all items come under banner section 
this is left navigator section. In this tab, you will see all the application. In this tab, you will see all the items, those you have marked as favorite. In this tab, you will see the history of all the items you have recently accessed. Here you will see star icon to mark this application as favorite. Now you can see self service application is coming under favorite star. If you want to remove it from favorites, then click on this icon. Else you can go back to all application tabs or click on this icon to remove it from favorites. This is content frame section. Here we see form, list, visits, dashboards. If I write here home page and click on this module, then here you can see home page. If I write dashboard and click on this module then you will see dashboard on content frame I open incident then you will see list here and if I open this record then you will see form here these are these are all the applications. If you expand this application, then you will see the module inside this application. Expand it, collapse it. This is the way by clicking on this application, we can expand it. And by clicking on this application, we can collapse it. And here you can see all the modules which reside inside this application. If you want to see the modules under this benchmark application, then click on this application, expand it, and here you will see the module inside of this benchmarks application. And if you want to add the application, then click on this icon, pencil icon, Here you will see modules. We will talk about application modules later on. Now I will talk about how an administrator can impersonate to another user to Thursday functionality. This is how an administrator can impersonate to another user without having that user login credentials to test or to check on which module or application that user has access on. Now we can see this user only has access on three applications. Let's go back to system administrator now I'll talk about application navigator section you also can call it as left navigator this is application navigator I already have talked about if you will click on the star icon then you are making this module as favorite item if you are clicking on this star icon then you are making this application as favorite item and click on this star icon now this application is marked as favorite item under this tab
If you want to make this problem ticket as your favorite item, then drag this problem ticket under favorite tab. Click on this icon to add the favorites item. Here you can change the name. Here you can set the color. Here you can set the icon. And click on done button. As we have made application as favorite, so all the modules those are residing under this application will also will come and also be marked as favorite item. If you want to remove it, then click on this icon. If you click on this, it will open that problem record. Let's enforcement to this user now see this user has access on three application if the user want to see all the incident created by him then he will click on this incident module and that's the way a user can navigate to particular record table home page, dashboards, knowledge article, on which the user has access.